you for watching the V Bodybuilding Show brought to you by Pro Subs and always photo bomb by Avin Almonte. Uh, I don't have my backdrops today, I drove my car, but we, we do have the beautiful red and black Metroflex behind us, Always right? Metroflex, baby. Got my sidecock, Sean, NPC champ, Briston in the house. Uh, we did legs today with IFBB Pro Mike Morris. Brutal. Pretty brutal, right? Brutal. Yeah, we, it, was, uh, it was a little bit different than what we normally do because we really targeted the, the uh, outer quads today. Um, and the entire leg in general. Yeah, uh, it, it, it was... And who finishes with squats? That was bullshit. Brutal. I didn't like that. Brutal. But anyway, I'm glad it's over. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm one week out. I'm a little testy, guys, so bear with me. I might not remember all my questions. Actually, I had to take some notes. Uh, Sean, you're two weeks out two from weeks the, out. Uh, what show is this? Team Universe. Team U. He's going to hit the middleweight class again. Yep. Um, try to do a repeat performance of your last show where you got first yeah, place. We'll, we'll see what happens. No, no real expectations, but, you know. Wherever the cards fall. I'm looking to do much better than my last show that I got first place. I didn't win the overall. God darn it. So if I don't win the overall this time. I'm and you're doing the West Coast Classic, correct? West Coast Classic. Lonnie T for NPC show. It's supposed to be pretty good. I looked at the overall uh, guys. They're all bigger than me. So, But I'm more conditioned. So yeah. hopefully my conditioning will take us back. Speaking of conditioning, we have a very special guest today, don't we? Well, they're all special. But they're all special. Uh, homegrown, she is a new IFPB pro. She's got her pro card at Junior Nationals. Um, new IFPB pro, Megan Rigby. Speaking of conditioning, amazing physique. Yep. Megan, without further ado, Megan Rigby in the house. Thank you for Hello. coming on. Thank you for having me. Of course. Very exciting. Well, we, yeah, and you got to sign the Wall of Fame today. I did. I'm very excited. I'll make sure I that. send you those pictures. Yes. <laughs> so, how's it feel? Surreal. I still surreal. don't believe it happened, but I'm super excited. Well, take us take us to the winning moment because you know when when you're up there and you're you're in your class um, and, and you knew you won your pro card. What's the first thing that went through your mind? I couldn't believe it. I actually had to look at my number again and like, be <laughs> sure that it was the right number they were calling. So it was up on cloud nine. It was super exciting. You know, I went in that show with my best package. Uh, I felt really comfortable on stage. So. Couldn't have done any better. And then for you, I mean, how many shows have you done? Um, that was my sixth show. You've been six though, so we, I mean, I'm gonna guess that you're expecting to get your pro card, especially I, after the big win at the DJ Classic. Guys, she smoked the competition <laughs> at the DJ Classic. No offense to the other uh, competitors in that class, but um, I, I thought maybe you could have even won the, the entire show. But whoever whoever won the show was awesome too. That was a Carla looked great. That's who it was. Yeah. Um, you know, I did not go in expecting to win. I was really truly hoping for top five. The girls in A class were great. They all looked really good. I went up against um, the girl who took second. She won the Junior USA's two weeks before. Just didn't get her pro card. So I knew who I was going up against, <laughs> and she was tough. So, you know, coming out ahead really was exciting. And what do you think the difference was? Do you think it was your tight midsection? Or, or, um, you know, her and I posing package or what was it? I think it was a total package. Her and I have completely different looks. Yeah, you do. Um, she is very, very hard. Um, and I'm, you know, a little more curvy. So it was just more of, I think, a judging preference. But I think the posing, the hair, the makeup, and the suit, it all makes a big difference. It ties everything together. Cool. So. True. Well, uh, you're a you're a diving expert, right? I guess you used to be on the diving team in high <laughs> I school. I used to dive uh, back in high school. And can, so. you, can you still do a gainer? Maybe, possibly. I might hurt myself, but I think I, I, think I still could. Did that, did, now, how did you get into this? I mean, because, you know, most diving, they usually have physiques. I don't know why, because you're just jumping into the water. Not like, you know, <laughs> swimming across it, you know, doing laps. But well, how did you get this muscle structure? Because, obviously, it, is it genetics, or was it hard work? Um, both. Um, hard work. I definitely worked really hard the past two years to try and put on the muscle. I've always had a thicker frame. I've never been a very small girl, so... She's not a very small girl <laughs> at all. I, okay, well, I'm short. <laughs> but I've never been, like, stick thin or anything like yeah. that. So putting on the muscle, I think, was a little bit easier on my frame. Yeah, it is. It is easier for short people. It is. Not, that's not fair. Not fair. What do you think about these short people? Because you're the tallest middleweight champion I've ever met. Yeah, and it's a, it's a real disadvantage to me because, you know, somebody from my height should be easily a light heavy or even a heavyweight. So. Or a super um, heavy. Or a super heavy. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, it, shorter people, I, I don't know, I mean... Uh, no, not taking no, away anything no, 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 no. I'm sorry, <laughs> IFBB Pro, Megan Rigby. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So, um, Damien, you're out of AZ Pro Physiques, another pro yeah. that, guys, they are turning pros out of AZ Pro Physiques like nothing. I know your uh, uh, Alicia Coates is a friend of mine, yes. friend of Sean's, friends of everybody, and she's an inspiration to you. She is. Alicia's definitely someone I look up to. You know, she's working really hard to get where she is, and I love seeing all of her success, and especially she's from Team Asia, so. That's right. You know, it's really and awesome. I have this weird thing for Alicia Coates. Not that I have a uh, thing for Alicia <laughs> Coates, okay? But I have a thing that she, I think she's going to be the mess, the next Miss Figure Olympia. Yeah, she has done really well. For I think herself. she's done really well. I yeah. think she just has a look, and I, she's like the new little starlet. Yeah. Yes. If you think about it, that's what Candace King also said for me too. That yeah, Alicia Coates is the new up and coming. So she yeah. is. I'm excited to see what the rest of the year holds. Uh, yeah, me too. Me too. So what about you? I guess you have to wait for Damien then to tell you what's up. But I, I would love to see you at the uh, Felicia Romero or the uh, maybe the Phoenix Europa. We'll see, possibly. Something more towards the end of the year. I still have to get back in the gym, make some improvements, grow a bit more, and then we'll kind of see. What, 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 do you, what do you need to grow on this professional <laughs> physique? I mean, we all have goals. I totally appreciate that, but what do you need to work on? I uh, definitely want to come in with a bigger back. Um, I still want that to taper a bit more. So you want it, you want it thicker and wider? I think wider, definitely. A bigger sure. back, and then I want to come in with you know, tighter legs to work on it. There's always room for improvement, which is why I love the sport. How much cardio do you do? Not very much. Um, you know, just like 20 minutes a hit or so. <laughs> <laughs> Sean and I have just been feeling the cardio lately. And uh, so 20 minutes a day. I gotta talk to Damien yeah. about that. So, What's up with that? 20 not a minutes lot, a day. which is nice. So I can't complain. So um, I, I'm gonna guess that if you're only doing 20 minutes of cardio, that your nutrition is spot on. There's no macros going on with you, pop tarts and stuff. Into like maybe three or four weeks out, that yeah. stuff kind of goes no, away. No, he let me have some pop tarts leading up, but once I got to that probably four week six four week mark, it was you know a very specific diet, and I stuck to it. Yeah. And what, what, what's the hardest part? I mean, for me, uh, I hate being super thirsty and, and the dry out process. It's such a science project. That's usually the, the hardest part for me. How about you? Is it not having carbs or? Um, you know, my peak week was really nice. Not to again. <laughs> here we go. Here um, we go. You know, I didn't really cut carbs. <laughs> I didn't really water deplete that much or sodium deplete. It was nice. It was a different prep for me. Um, you know, why was that different? You know, because I had done the water depleting. And so I know that thirst. Um, this one was just a bit different. He kept me on point leading up to the show. So that peak week just really was fine tuning things here and there, but it wasn't, you know, a struggle. I think the hardest part is craving, like the sugary foods is what I really wanted. So. Is that the biggest challenge for you? Is it, and now for me, it's potato chips, Cheetos, um, I don't know, cashews, pistachios. I like salty stuff. Although I do like coffee cake and stuff like that, but is it sweets or is it it's salty for you? Sweet. It's all about like donuts. Oh, donuts yes. and some more. I've, <laughs> I've been talking about donuts. I've been like fantasizing about the donut hamburgers I've been seeing on Instagram. Oh, yeah. What's up with that? Oh yeah. Those Whoever thought of that is amazing. I'm gonna go to In and Out. I don't know where I can buy one, but yeah. Bella, we're, we're going. Krispy Kreme. Are we? Are we selling Krispy Kreme? No, no, just go buy a Krispy Kreme and then go to In and Out. And then make that your bun. Make your own. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> All right, we got to do that. So I've been in the house. Um, did you have any question for the yes. OIFBB Pro? If you have to title your autobiography, what would be the title of this? Oh. Good question. Good question. I don't know. Well, oh, that's a really tough question. Um, probably like Strong Shorty. That's cute. That's cute. <laughs> I like that. Megan Rigby. Story of the strong shorty will make it to the pro. There you go. And Tess, I like that. you're you're coming into your first show. You got the Very new IFBB exciting. Pro Megan Rigby. Do you have a question for her on anything? How she got to where she is? What was probably your most nerve-wracking moment? Um, I think the very first time I stepped on stage was the most nerve-wracking moment. You are so new to it, you don't know what to expect. Um, and jitters, butterflies. I think that was the most nerve-wracking moment. But after that first show. You go back to finals and it's completely different. Like you're ready. Yeah. Bella, any questions? You need to sign this. No. Oh yeah, she's, she's the Bilbo Bags a little bit in case a lot of you guys don't know Megan Rigby. You're gonna know about her. Uh, she's gonna be competing. She's gonna be a big star. But uh, she's a Bilbo Bag girl. Uh, she's also a, you're also a, a nurse, pediatric nurse. Or a nurse practitioner. Nurse practitioner. Yeah. 
So uh, check out the big brain on Megan over here. She's she's a she's a nurse. She's not just uh, a meathead figure competitor. She's actually had a head on her shoulder. So you do this full time. So how do you balance all that? Because I know you're married. Do you have kids too? Not yet. No, I'm married, but no kids yet. That'll be in the future. Um. I love being busy, I think it's part of it, but I do, I work full time, and then I'll squeeze in cardio in the morning, you know, get my weights in in the afternoon, so it's all about just really time management and balancing it, but the gym is a stress relief for me, so leaving work is nice and getting to the gym. She spoken like a true professional, it sounds really easy when she talks about it, I was going to say it, I would have been on a rant, like, <laughs> telling everybody, like, talking people out of doing it, you're going to talk people into doing it. No, you I'm inspired do talking to you. You're sweet. How much weight training do you actually do? Um, I would say... Probably about an hour max, I'll be in the gym. So not too much, and then cardio in 20 minutes. So yeah, I try to get in and get out. Yeah. So try not to waste too much time. It seems like the, <laughs> the way the direction the sport is going, it's a best of contest, even for the men. I mean, if you don't have some detailed glutes, you're not making the power five, let alone winning. It is. Uh, I think <laughs> definitely about the glutes now. I think it's one of the first things we look at. They're always saying figures one from the backside. Yeah. So you'll notice they'll quarter turn you and they might keep you, you know, on that backside for a little while. Just really assessing because I feel like when you get to the top five, everyone looks pretty similar. Right. So you're just looking for who's the most conditioned and, you know, have it. And glutes, I feel like they're very important. I yeah. definitely target those a lot. Do you have sponsors that you'd like to thank or anybody like the family members or your, your support group, I'm sure, Damien? Or yeah, anybody? of course. I'd love to thank AC Pro. Damien Segovia for putting up with me for the past for six months during training. I'm very proud of you, I'm sure, turning out in our pro. He is awesome. Uh, his wealth of knowledge is invaluable. So I was really lucky to be able to train with him. Whitney out of Asia Pro as well has been great helping out with all her guidance. And then everyone else there. Um, also, I'd like to thank a uh, few friends, Kathy Cole and Steve Davis. They're great friends and mentors who've been in the industry for a long time um, and helped guide me. And of course, my husband. He's always my number one supporter. My friend. He's a he's a physique competitor. I was looking at your. I was looking for some interesting things to, you know, or some funny things to kind of embarrass you on. But you have a pretty clean Instagram. There was not a lot there. Actually, I was like, oh, these guys are so cute. Oh, thank you. But no, he's a good looking dude. Is he going to be on stage sometime soon? No, he did a couple shows. It was just kind of something we did together when we first got into it. But I think he's done. Um, yeah. You know, just he enjoys lifting. So I think he'll just stick with that for now. There's no more men's physique. So the, it's just a fitness lifestyle for him. It is, yeah. It's, it's good. all about that. He understands it. He's done the show. He knows what it takes. And that's the nice thing is he knows all about it, so he's very supportive. Well, uh -oh. we were, yeah, here we go. Well, we, we we did a thing called 20 questions, and I didn't bring my truck. I don't have my backdrop, so I don't have my 20 questions, which is probably a good thing because we have some questions from the audience. Josh Wheeler wants to know, uh, what got you into figure? Um, you know, I actually went and spoke with someone before I ever did it wanting to do bikini. And they looked at me and said, absolutely not. <laughs> like, don't was that Damien? No, um, it was actually Patricia Romero. Oh, really? Yeah, she looked at, at me. At AZ Pro? Uh-huh. She looked at me and said, no, no uh, bikini for you. So she pointed me in a bigger direction. Otherwise, I don't know. I would have really not. Good call, yeah, Felicia. <laughs> wow. Uh, she's been on the show a few times. Uh, let's see here. What is your strongest body part from Steve Dolce? Um, I would probably say legs. I'd probably have to agree with you. <laughs> um, any special training that you do for that? Um, you know, I just hit legs twice a week. Uh, I don't no, go because well, we said where we do hamstrings and glutes, and then we do quads. And so is that what you do, or mm -hmm. you just do so the I just whole do full both. legs? Full legs twice a week. And you know, I have BB Pro Mike Morris. We who we just did legs with was just telling us we should start doing that. So maybe after our shows we'll try it. So she's a pro, he's a pro, we're not pros. I guess uh, we don't know everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, again, uh, kind of a funny question from uh, Steve Dolce, one of the best ma last names I've ever heard. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Good girl, good girl. <laughs> IFBB pro Mike Morris, you just won Miss Olympia. What food do you want? Oreos. Oreos? <laughs> The new ones with the peanut butter or no? Oh, they're amazing. Yeah, they're Not good. <laughs> I think you posted something about those. They're too. really good. I'm an Oreo girl all day, so Are yeah, you? I crave those. God, I love milk with them too. Yeah. Just, they gotta get nice inside. We were yeah. talking about we were talking we were talking about cereal yesterday. Yeah. Cereal and sex we were talking about yesterday. <laughs> but two really good interesting things. combo. <laughs> it, 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 it's it one of my favorite combos actually. The craziest thing was in the same conversation, so it was. <laughs> Not like we're talking about cereal. That. That <laughs> but I like to add honey to my honeycomb, but I don't eat my honeycomb until it's soggy. 
I don't know. I let it get soggy when I eat oatmeal. I'll have to try that. Okay, another, another one from Josh Wheeler. Um, what adversities have you overcome? If you haven't had any adversities, what's the hardest part of looking the way you do? Um, I think the hardest part is my body naturally is a little bit thicker. So when I do start to train for a show, I really have to watch my diet. You know, I really have to stay on point with my cardio. I'm not one of those girls who can eat tons 20 minutes of, tons of cardio. Of she has to stay on point with that. I'm not one of those girls who can eat tons and tons of carbs. So, you know, diet is really important for what me. Works, what works better for you, fats or carbs, or does it matter? Um, healthy carbs fats. a little bit more. Carbs yeah, carbs healthy better. fats it makes me hold on to all my fats. So, given the fact that you have to, your nutrition has to be spot on, would you say that you put more of a percentage? on nutrition being more important than the training, like maybe 80, 30, 80, 20, or? You know, both, I think, for me, have to be equal. So it's I really 50, do, 50. yeah, it's 50-50. I really have to stay on point with that diet, but also with my workout. Most, most people say that. And I always try, I always throw that in there, like, oh, it's 90% nutrition. I always say something like that, so the guests will kind of side with me, and they, they never do. They just tell me it's 50-50. <laughs> so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to change that one. Okay. Jordan Collins, what is after competitive figure for you? I don't know. Um, I'm always going to be a nurse practitioner. Um, you know, family, I think, eventually. Where'd you go to school? Uh, here, ASU. ASU? Sun Devils. Were you a sorority girl? <laughs> no, I wasn't. Um, I had my head in the books from the time I entered. Nursing is really competitive, so I had to keep my grades up in order to actually get the program. So you're a 4.0 student? Okay. I try. <laughs> she's, wow, she's humble. I'd be like, hey, 4.1. All right? All right. Um, Jordan Collins. Favorite superhero? Favorite superhero? Um, Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Yeah, I like Wonder Woman. That'd be, a good, that'd be a good Halloween costume for you. <laughs> have I seen you as Wonder Woman? Do you have that on your IG? No, I don't. That might be this year's Halloween costume. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just got an opportunity, I'm not going to do it, maybe I'll give it to you. You want to be Thor? It's, it's, it's 300 got, bucks. We got Thor over there. No, they want, they want Hammerstone Thor. Yeah. Kind of have the Thor look. Yeah. Uh, the long have the long Extension. <clears throat> okay, we already, I already asked you this. Uh, who you want that to, who inspired you as Alicia Coates? Definitely. Um, if, uh, if you won the lottery, what would you do? Um, and I'm talking not a million, like 10 million. Like, so you have six million bucks. Quit my job. Yeah, <laughs> me too. No more working. Travel. I love traveling, so I would definitely. Would you travel. keep competing? I think so. I love it. You would. I think you would too. I would. I would really on it for sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's next? What show? We don't know. Damien's gonna let her know, sure. and as soon as she does, she'll she'll uh, she'll, she'll be posting that. Yes. You know, how many weeks out you are anyway. Um, and then we had again a, a Damien diet training, what percentage on food? I already had that down. So we covered almost everything. Anything I actually, else? I actually do have a question. Um, and this is for you know the girls that are coming up in the sport. Um, I know posing is, is a huge thing. You know, being you know being invincible in bodybuilding. So I know how much posing you have to do. So just for everybody that's coming up in the sport, how much posing did you put into this going into this show? Versus training, I mean, diet and training is one thing, but yeah. posing is another thing. I would say I practice posing every night. Um, you know, I got together with Damien on the weekends. He would have his girls come in and pose, and then it was every night. Before, usually, I would hop in the shower, I would practice posing. It's really important because you pose in front of the mirror and look at yourself when you're on stage. I mean, it's just you looking at the judges. So you have to really be able to feel your body and know exactly what you're doing. It's easy on stage to like let your arms drift way out there yeah. and forget what you're doing, so it's definitely something. And, that, and that's a valid point too, because I mean, it's one thing to pose in front of the mirror, but it's totally different when you don't have a mirror in front of you, and you have to practice without that mirror. Yeah. It's yeah. completely different. <laughs> it it's is. night and day difference. Yes. Yeah. Um, actually, I was going to ask you something. Oh, I have a good one before we wrap this thing up. So, you know, the rebound thing that you see happens a lot, mm -hmm. you know, um, most Guys, it's kind of a normal thing. Oh, I'm in my off season, I'm getting bigger. Mm -hmm. But it, uh, some women are, are good at kind of keeping it under control, and some others, some aren't. Uh, what, what's, what, what's the best advice you can give to, to people out there? Yeah, I would say I am guilty of it because you are so strict for so long that after a show, you don't want to eat any more chicken or ground turkey or you know, 
fish. fish. So you just want to eat whatever, and I've done that before, and I really gain weight fast, and then I feel like I have to fight to get back to where I want to be. So, you know, this has been my biggest focus after the show is not letting that happen. Um, you know, to slowly come back on to a regular diet, adding in things and upping my carbs, and, you know, keeping up with my workouts. I did a show, and I still want to make sure you know I can maintain. So you 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 know you go out, you have the burger that you yeah, had, and, you and then maybe drink. a couple days later, maybe a couple days of rest, and then you get back onto your meal plan yeah. and, and just start. Yeah, and it's all about moderation. So I still have the treats in here and there, but really just making sure you. Stick with the diet that got you for it. Yeah, well, I've, I've never gorged. been with that. And not just gorge yourself. <laughs> yeah, I, just, I had an off season this last time where um, it was a bulking thing where you you, know, you put on body fat because you can put on more muscle when you have body fat. And I don't know if that's true. All I know is that, you know, dieting down this time has been it's much more difficult because I've always been, you know, six weeks out. Okay, I'll make that show and I'm in shape yeah. already. So to be out of shape. <sighs> So it's, it's much better just to keep it maybe, you know, yeah. other people. Yeah, it's, it's healthier too. It is, and that's what I'm hoping to do this time around. Damien's, you know, really helping me to stay on track of that. Good, good. Well, thank you so much for coming thank on the show. Anything else you want to throw a shout out thank to? Thank you. Do you have just, a sponsor? I do, Bean and Shape, thank you. And then, of course, Quest Nutrition has always, you know, been very supportive. So I want to thank you. Good. I want to thank Pro Subs, Six Pack Bags, My Oatmeal, Ride Now, Swole Swag Launches, Metroflex for all their support of the V Bodybuilding Show. Sean Briston, IFBB Pro, Megan Rigby, Vincent BJ Hills, at the Mecca, V Bodybuilding Show. Thanks for watching. Boom.